Welcome back to my channel. So today, another tutorial that we are going to discuss, and it is Zapier. So according to Wikipedia, Zapier is a global remote company that allows end users to integrate the web applications they use. Although Zapier is based in Sunnyvale, California, it employs a workforce of 250 employees located around the United States and in 23 other countries. So let's go. Of course, you have to search on your Google up here and then it will show first on the search box. So while waiting for the Zapier home, are you thinking what do you want to work with or what do you want to automate? So I want to uh, work email, I want Changes my Google name. Okay. Oops. So what I want to do is I want to automate my social media pages that it will post automatically. Although uh, I can use the publish later, I want to post a one post to all my Facebook pages that I manage if that is possible. I think and I think it is possible. So here So we'll elect password. I am sure to give my password. So it is has to be a eight character. So remember your password, your username in any Count you are making or you need. It's very important to take note of that. Okay. So we're waiting for this. So here, after you have signed up, Zapier will ask your role. So here are the choices and you can elect based on your preference. So here I am the business owner, the founder. So continue. So also you can skip this if you want to. But Zapier will uh, suggest you more uh, tools if you tell him or her, tell it what is your role. So what apps do you use? It will give you personalized workflow recommendations based on apps you choose. So I choose from Gmail, Facebook, the drive, calendar, Instagram, MailChimp, 
sheets, cello, dogs, um, okay, I don't know, so you see, <clears throat> slides, LinkedIn, WordPress, I also use Microsoft Excel, YouTube, okay, so those free one, okay, Pinterest, Zoom, so there are many, okay, so you can choose as much as you want to for all the apps that you are using, okay, so finish setup, I finish my setup. Okay, so here it will redirect you to its home page. So create your own workflow. So know exactly what you want to build and select the apps you want to connect to start your custom setup. So I want to connect to this app. My Google Sheet to connect with um, my. I want to connect my. Let me think if it is possible. My. Okay. It's just Facebook. Okay, so I'm sorry. <laughs> so when this happens, um, Okay, I am looking for the best maybe uh, um I interchange them so good issues. So new post. Sorry. Okay. Uh, we can just search first or discover the uh, popular workflows here. So these templates can help start saving time right away, no matter which app you use. So send new leads personal message. So add new leads to a spreadsheet or database. Notify my team about new leads. Create support tickets from survey or response form responses. Enroll new customers in an online course. Send customers an order confirmation message. Notify my team about New, about important new files. So we'll have a CC in a spreadsheet, add new orders to my phone app. Add new orders to the spreadsheet. So I want to choose log messages or files to spreadsheet database, share content across social media. I want to do this. Share 
and then cross social media. So that is like uh, you could read a post, one post, and then uh, it will direct or it will post to your main pages. So do you want to share content from Facebook page? So in Facebook groups, in Facebook. So are you ready to build? So you can instantly share your content to your social media accounts. Okay, complete set up. So Zapier will do the work. Okay, it's still loading now. So you have to log in to your Facebook account, of course. So it will, it will trace your Facebook page, of course. <laughs> okay, yes. Okay, next. So it's already done. Okay. Sign in to this. Okay, so we have to sign in again to you. Okay, so after you sign on again to your Facebook groups, Zapier will ask you this one that uh, Zapier would like to post content into groups on your behalf and you have to allow this because if you know Zapier can't do what you, uh, you have to do. Okay. Okay, after we have logged in to Facebook groups, it will connect your app now, but it is showing that I am having trouble because this account is expired. Please reconnect it here, but I am trying it many times. It goes back, and we have to be sure that previous elections have the Zapier app installed. Or else it will not work or it will not go next to the thing that you want to do. So for now, let's discover apps, other apps. So go to the dashboard again and choose another popular workflows. Okay. Have you noticed that on the popular workflow suggested is based on the rule that I chose earlier because it is most likely for business owners or founders because it is like notify my team, add new leads, or uh, notify my team again. Clean files like that. 
So, I want to try this. Uh, okay. Um, they lag messages as well. Files. Send new leads personal message. You can try this. So, where do you connect? Where do you collect leads? So Facebook ads. So how do you want to message your leads from Facebook lead ads? So I want them to send a message via Gmail. Okay. So am I ready to build? Yes. Okay. It's very important that you have activated your Facebook leads. Facebook leads. We have another set of video tutorial how to build your Facebook leads. So watch out for that. And sign in for Gmail. Okay. So, of course, our Gmail account is already ready here in our Okay, after signing in to your Gmail, it will come to messages that Zapier wants to access your Google account and you have to allow this because if not, it will not work. Okay, so turn on that. So, woohoo, your Zapier is on and working. So, try it out. So, view your Zaps. Zapier makes you happier. So, that is the slogan of Zapier. It is right. So, after you allow your Google, so it will record the one that we have set here so it shows here that um we will send new leads a personal message if you have generated a new lead from your facebook so you see here it is on so you can edit this one So, if a uh, new lead will come from your Facebook leads, it will automatically send a message to your new lead. Alright? So, how to see though? This guide panel will give you tips and tutorials as you create your Zap. So, first, your new lead in Facebook ads. So, Page. So here. So helpers pass. Send email in Gmail. T. 
chance to do this. Okay, so we, we have to, uh, we already chose our app, which is Genia, and then choose an action event. So send Genia, of course, because our workflow says that we have to send a new message to a new lead when it reaches our Facebook events. Okay. So, for example, okay, from our personal Google mail, your mail, your preferred email, it will be come from your message. So, here, so you have to choose your needs. Your Facebook page or in your Facebook page. Okay. So since we haven't won yet, maybe we can use that one as an example. So we can. We have a choice to put CC and BCC. So, um, so reply to me, so body type, and what is your message? Okay. So to continue, finish required fields. So there. You can send the message now to your new leads. Okay, and we can have another one. Still all right. So you can discover this, explore this Zapier. Just search Zapier in Google. So since we have a new lead, so I'll notify my team about our new lead. So I want it in Google Forms. So where do you want to notify your team about new leads in Google Forms? So I want it in I want to try this SMS by Zapier. Is it free? So ready to build? Yes. Okay. So of course, Zapier wants to also access your video account where do you collect your leads sorry Okay, so you have sent a lot of this. Okay, so continue, just click continue. We need to go to the next step. Can create a new one. Or just use T 
see. So maybe we can, we have already a, or of course you have, you have there the ready um, spreadsheet if you use plus, it is already there. Okay, so we have chose spreadsheet for Facebook colleagues. Okay, so it has to be ready. And you go to worksheet. So continue. And there. So find data. We skip test so we can also test it first for the perceive. So you sign in to do SMS by that year and then you'll just create a new message and there you go. It will uh, send the messages to your team about your new lead. So all right, we hope you learned something today and we just log it to Zapier, create a talent, sign up, and explore this. Also, of course, you, you can create your own workflow. Don't forget that you can create your own. What you want to do, what, you, what um, things that this result that we want to be to happen so all right so see you on our next tutorial again thank you bye, -bye.